Hello fashionista and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Autumn Hayes and today I'm gonna to be going over all of the trending fashion this autumn season and going into the winter season as well. I'm gonna be showing you in this video what is trending, what I think should not be trending. And if you stay to the very end, you'll see my personal prediction of what I think will be trending. Now, personally, I am a autumn fashion girly for obvious reasons. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Number one, we're gonna start off with red. Red is taking the fashion community by storm this fall. It's in all of the magazines, runway shows, blog posts, and on the girls, okay? Monochromatic from head to toe, red. If red is your favorite color, definitely hop on this trend. Hop on it fast. I kid you not, you're gonna be seeing red everywhere i personally love these red dresses because i think that it's the perfect moment to have that little bit of on vogue that little bit of spice in your life in the spooky season so if you like red this trend is for you if you don't like red second up we're gonna go with a softer tone this autumn we have this butter color trending and quite literally it says butter color in all of the vlogs and posts. So that looks like a softer yellow, kind of like these two tones. I just had those handy. But I'll show you some other butter colors that is trending. And I actually really like this trend because I think that color is really soft on your skin tone. It's pretty and it's very soft after the bright Barbie pink that's been taken over and the hot red. If you're one of those people that wants a softer, cooler color um, it's not a vibrant bright yellow which is really nice because in the fall we see those vibrant colors a lot so this is the first time that I'm really seeing this soft buttery color and I love it it's beautiful if you like that trend then hop on that just a quick side note I will be posting another video on the color I will be posting another video on the color schemes and the color palettes for this season, but that will be separate. So right next into the next thing, number three, leather sets. Oh, I love leather. Leather is like my thing. And honey, if you are against animal abuse, animal cruelty, vegan leather is a thing. And it is a thing that you have to get your hands on this season, okay? Because when I tell you that the leather sets are in, I mean it. If you have any leather in your closet, take it out. Whether that's leather pants, leather skirts, leather shorts, leather boots, leather hats. Take it out your closet because it's time to put it on. This autumn, I definitely am enjoying the leather sets because leather can get very hot. So it's something that I would expect more in the winter, especially after we had this extremely hot summer. <laughs> but it is a little surprising to see the leather so quickly following the heat. But, you know, fashion is not about the weather. Fashion is about looking good whatever the case may be so i told y'all i love leather i told y'all i got this little leather jacket and these matching leather pants and and they're on standby okay these are on standby so make sure you go to the store and get you a leather set quick before it's bought up out of all the stores honey number four this one a lot of people are very excited to see come back peplum um, which is more so just anything that has the hourglass shape where around your hips it kind of widens to give your frame more of a, you know, that womanly shape. So Peplum is back and honestly I've been seeing a lot of trends from the 80s coming back this year so this is kind of exciting i know a lot of people are excited for this trend i personally am not a huge fan of peplum i do enjoy shirts that go down into a peplum so um if you're one of them girlies that like peplum then honestly this is your season pop pop out in a peplum we about to be popping out in a peplum okay all autumn 2023 next up we got power dressing and honestly i'm not mad at it Power dressing always comes and goes in and out of fashion. And I think that there's about a point in time in every year when power dressing makes its play. So power dressing, you're going to see a lot of blazers and a lot of sets, um, really tailored body suits, really tailored corsets, um, just things that fit the body and look professional. So you're going to see three-piece sets with vests, 
like I mentioned, corsets um, on top of button down t shirts. You're just going to see things that make you feel really powerful, business like, professional. And I think that that's awesome because, you know, women, we need to feel like we take in charge. Okay. And I guess this autumn season, we not letting nothing go without it coming back with some money because we is money makers, powerful, strong, independent women, all that good stuff, and still fashionable. I think I like it. I think I love it. All right. Next up, off the shoulder. Off the shoulder dresses, off the shoulder shirts, off the shoulder jackets off the shoulder everything is trending and i think that this is nice because it'll give you that chance for that in between like when you're still kind of in the summer but you're also transitioning into the autumn and you might wear maxi dresses or longer clothing and or long sleeve shirts and you just get that nice breeze on your shoulders that just that little bit that's enough so the off shoulder is coming back this autumn after that we're gonna come in with something that is returning again i said the 80s is coming back and you guessed it it is colored tights mainly red colored tights so, you know throwback to the number one with red being the hottest thing out right now number one we're gonna start off with red but colored tights are making a comeback and it's really cool to see because i think with the new fashion trends a lot of us are dressing we're wearing less and going out more and so it's nice to see us start to you know cover up a little bit just a little bit um because it's fashionable and it's cool and you're wearing these tights under shorts you're wearing them under long shirts under dresses um and you know under jeans with ribs just for a little detail i think this is really cute for a detail to just show that you took that extra step and that you have that extra confidence in your fashion which is really cool so i personally will be getting a lot of these specifically from this store that i'm gonna drop if you want to get tights make sure that you get them yeah just get them just get the tights and then right after the tights we have sheer 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 I'm wearing sheer because sheer is in style, guys. So the sheer is just a way where you can be playful, show a little bit of skin, have a little bit of see-through, but it not be too much. I'm seeing sheer with things underneath and colorful sheer, sheer of all colors. Brown, nudes, yellows, pinks, blues, greens. As long as it's sheer, I'm pretty sure that you will have a sure thing going. You see what I just did? Okay, next up is something that I think is a little funny olive oil color like um this color is in style this color is trending so we've got red we've got butter and we've got olive oil and I'm actually kind of feeling it like normally around this time there's always a green there's always a green a couple years ago it was neon green then we went to cargo green but right now we are at olive oil green and I'm living for it because like I said, this is like for those people that they, would, they don't want to be too loud. They don't want to be too big, but they still want to be in style. I think that this olive oil and this butter is like the nude family in the green and yellow. And so I'm loving this olive oil color. And if you like it, make sure that you buy this. A little bit of a tip. You're not going to be able to search olive oil color and like have a lot of things show up. So if you want to find something with that color, check out the word chartreuse. 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 And you might be able to find something closer to the color that you want. You know, don't don't shoot the messenger if something comes out a little bit too green or a little bit too yellow but the good thing about trends is that once the clothing brands really know and understand what we're looking for they're gonna order it and they're gonna have it for you to buy so you're gonna start seeing these now i actually have seen a bunch of this color online which is great i haven't seen them in stores but i've seen them online which is great and the autumn season hasn't even started so keep your eyes peeled if you want some of these softer tones this autumn season and now we're to my personal favorite this one is my favorite because it's kind of interesting it's like a v-neck that goes down to your 
belly button or your waistline. So it's literally like as if it were to cut all the way down here. They're calling it a navel grazer. I personally am calling it a waist deep v-neckline. It just makes more sense to me. But this style is trending and I actually really like this style because it plays a peekaboo with you know the abs, the abdomen, the stomach, the body shape. And I think that it looks very flattering if you, you know, are confident enough to try this style. Um, it might not be for everybody, but it's for me, girl. Like, look at it. Look at this picture. I pulled that off. I made this outfit last week, according to the trends, and I pulled that off. Try this trend because you just might like it, and I hope that this trend sticks around. All right? So, guys, those are all of the trends that I like. I think they're cute. I think they're cool. I think you should try them. But let's get into the trends that I think should go. These trends got to go. Okay. First of all, let's get on these two okay let's get on the free the one nip free the one nip i know you lying how does that sound and why are we doing it i kid y'all not i don't a celebrity started this style and i can't remember off the top of my head but i'm gonna drop it but a celebrity started this style and then after that um different clothing stores started making it and this style is just so ridiculous to me because it's like where are you going where are you going with one boob covered by a starfish? Why are you doing that? You know, but to each his own. If you like this style, definitely hop on it because I think it'll be in and out. I don't think it's going to stay. So if you like this style, hop on it. The next style that I think should go is fur shoes. Now, don't jump on me, y'all. I have had fur shoes in the past, Please so I understand the attraction. Like, when Uggs first came out with fur shoes, they had these fur tennis shoes like 10 years ago. Let's 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 get past that i had them shoes i love them shoes so from personal experience i can say that fur around the feet do not go and like fur heels baby why you do that anyways those two styles can go the last trend that i think can absolutely go is the no pants trend why are we walking around looking like toddlers? Call the police. What do you mean we're going to go outside in some briefs and a t-shirt? Like, who came up with this? I just, I just, it's not for me. But like I said, if you like it, try it. You know, fashion is for different people. I'm definitely for feeling confident, feeling sexy, and doing what makes you happy. So if you like any of these trends, the one free, the nip, the no pants, or the sh the first shoes by all means hop on the trend because like i said i think they're going to be gone pretty fast but those trends honestly 2023 could have kept the first half i love them i love the first half of the trends ladies go for it all right guys that's pretty much everything so we're gonna end it on the promise that i made you the trend that i'm predicting i am predicting pinstripes i spoke about the power dressing with the blazers and stuff but there hasn't been any specific um pattern there hasn't been any specific pattern this season which i think is interesting it's normally a, a pattern of some sort and so i'm predicting that pinstripes will come back in cahoots with the power dressing i've seen a lot of pinstripes body suits blazer sets pants trousers and i love it i love pin sets i love pinstripes i think pinstripes are just elegant they're sexy they're powerful they say i'm here but they don't say too much so if you like pinstripes i would definitely be buying it um comment below which trend you think is the most flattering and which trend you think is not and just let me know guys interact engage and i would love to see your comments and see what i may have missed or what I should have left out or whatever the case may be thank you guys for watching this video i truly hope you enjoy it and i can't wait to see you guys next time oh and one more thing i just did a video on my hair and it's super cute and versatile if you want to see how i did it check out the video i can even make it a bang guys i can even make it a bang wow <laughs> but yes guys i hope you really enjoyed this video bye stay fashionable guys Stay fashionable, ladies.